Janice. All right, I'm Janice. I'm your MEP. Hello, darling. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Canvassing yeah. UKIP support in Ramsgate. How you doing? You have some lunch? We filmed Janice Atkinson MEP on yeah. Friday I'm to Janice, coincide with the announcement that the party MEP. leader, Nigel Farage, yeah. wants to stand yeah. as an MP yeah. in the area. How's business, Vince? It's been very good today, thank you. You yeah. OK, Far? You can clearly see her speaking to Vince and Far Mundy and their mobile food van. But later, with the cameraman filming elsewhere, we picked up this audio as Janice Atkinson spoke to another UKIP supporter. At this time, Miss Atkinson was still wearing our radio microphone. Hang on, that's good. That's good. We've got Far, who's, I don't know, she's a ting tong from somewhere. Somewhere. Today we played them the clip. Somewhere, well, she's not being very polite, to be fair. Basically what she's saying is because you're not white British, I guess, she's being quite rude and saying that you're Ting Tong, like you're Ting Tong. I'm, Which not, is, I'm uh, normal, actually. <laughs> I'm from Thailand. Yeah, yeah. It's an offensive remark. It is offensive. Um, you know, I, I will certainly take it up with her when I see her. Um, and she needs to sit back and, and think about what she, what she really wants to do, you know, uh, you know, you've got UKIP saying they're firmly not racist, and then she passes a comment like that. I'm not Ding Tong. I'm a normal person. We did approach Janice Atkinson for an interview today. She declined to come on camera, but released this statement. I deeply regret the words I used and am incredibly sorry. It was poor judgment and naivety on my part, rather than words spoken with any malice. I am devastated that I have caused hurt and apologise profusely to both Mr and Mrs Mundy. A UKIP spokesperson said, Janice has apologised for the words she used. UKIP in no way condones the use of language that may reflect prejudice or cause offence, and we sincerely hope this matter can be resolved privately. Ellie Price, BBC South East Today.